Hello everyone, it's Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations and today I'm going to be doing um, part of a, a YouTube challenge from Creative Paper Artisan. She does a monthly YouTube challenge with a, a theme so I'm going to be doing some of that today in this video. Um, I will link her channel below so you can go and check out her video on on how the challenge works but um, I will tell you the theme is cream colored and florals so the florals don't have to be cream colored but the the color theme is cream and then use florals so that's what we're going to attempt to do today and one of the um, there's like three or four things that she wants you to make and two of those things are uh, two tags so I'm going to attempt one if not two in this video so what I've done so far is um, I've just got a piece of cream colored cardstock like you know scrap of paper or whatever and then this is part of um, a piano roll paper that I got um, so and this is my first time using the piano roll paper and I'll show you here this is the piano roll that I got so um, I, I cut this part off and and saved that but so here's my my piano roll paper so this is what I'm using today and what I've done so far is just glue it on the cardstock. So nothing, nothing fancy there. So this is going to be the base of my tag. Um, I did want to show you this. I took another piece of the piano roll and glued it on this green brown, brown color. I guess it's brown, <laughs> not like an army color. And I used glue stick, and this is what happened and at first I thought it's ruined I can't use that but of course I can use this this would make an awesome tag background as well it doesn't matter if it's you know discolored so to speak so yeah I'm going to use that as well but I'm going to tackle this one first so I'm going to cut this down to the size I want Let's see, probably about there, and I think I kind of want to leave that off center. I do want to cut off that part. I think this is not straight, so we're just going to do this, try and make it somewhat straight yeah that looks better and this will be the top so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tag part this is just um, a piece of cardboard that I just cut four corners off to make different templates so I can do that one or this one and so on so let's just use this one since we're here and then I'm just gonna flip it over and line it up there you go and then my sides are equal I mean you can still do it you know where you cut this off and then flip it over and cut it but sometimes this just makes it easier and it's just something else to add to my desk <laughs> okay so then I'm going to ink the edges on this and these challenges that uh, Karen does are really fun because it can just be a good uh, 
uh, stash building thing as well as um, it's a challenge so there's prizes so you can win win a prize okay so we've got that and in the back of course is like that so I'm just gonna add some um, washi stickers I have lots and lots of floral washi stickers so I want to start using them up a little bit here yeah, that would be pretty so we can do that um, let's see do we want to add like a label I have a little box here full of goodies oh, we could add some music paper since this is a piano roll that might be pretty Is that upside down I can't tell with music well I think that's upside down yeah this down here is upside down so I'm just gonna take that off because that will bother me <laughs> okay so let's ink this up Right. Nope. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it right. Just, just give me a, a second, and then we put that on there like that. Do you like that? I do like that. However, I think I'm gonna do a little stamping just to kind of fill in some, some area there. So let me get my stamps here. I think we'll do a little bit of script and I'm going to use black and I'm just going to kind of do random here. the sides here just to give it a little more interest let me do one more over there there we go Ooh, that one was a little dark but that's okay all right I like that, so let's get this glue down, get my glue. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Look at that, already got ink all over, all over my fingers, and glue. Sometimes I have the hardest time getting these off, sometimes not too bad. Perfect. I like it. Okay. Now for the topper. Um, let's just do. Do a, a eyelet. And 
kind of tempted to do the blue because of the blue writing on there. What do we think? Is that too, too weird? Maybe the lighter blue? No, not the lighter one. So we can do the blue, of course silver, or always the favorite. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. Always wins. All right, so I'm gonna punch my hole. Oh, not down that far. Up just a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And there we go. And then put this away. We'll get some. <laughs> I forgot seam binding. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get there. I like that it kind of goes with the the green and the rose flowers there. Rose flowers. Oh my goodness. Rose leaves. Yeah, those are leaves. <laughs> Whew. I don't know what is with me today. There we go. Those tightened up a little bit. And there's our tech. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, so now our second one. I'm gonna use this. Let me trim it down. Get, get my baby trimmer here. Let's see. I don't want to lose too much of the the holes because that's what gives it the interest. There we go. Get rid of those. And then on this one, get my template back out here. Flip it over. And then I'm going to ink around it, even though you probably won't really see it that much. Okay, and I think on this one I'm going to round the corners, just the the bottom corners just a little bit. Okay. And then let's see. Let's see what fun things I got in here. Now this is um, from some fussy cuts that came from a kit um, that Karen actually does. Um, it's like a, a membership, uh, $5 a month and you get um, scans from her 
private collection plus like five, six, seven pages of um, solid pages and fussy cuts and it's it's a really cool deal. It's it's over on her buy me a coffee. So that's where I got these from and she of course coordinates the the kits with her monthly theme, so that is perfect. Let's see. I like those, but I need I need something else, but let me get these inked. I don't know what else to put under there. Let me think while I'm while I'm inking here. I could do book page. Um I don't want to cover up too much of the piano part or the you know the holes. Maybe a little more stamping. Should we do that again? Let's do that again. And hope it works. Yeah. And I think, yeah. I've noticed that the piano paper kind of has a smooth side and a rough side, so I actually did this right. <laughs> Glued it down on the smooth side so it stamps well. And I'll show you a little example. So I stamped on this because I was testing it out. This is a piece, scrap piece of the, the piano paper. I don't know if you can see but this side is kind of flat matte and this side is shiny. Oh, oh, see, there you go. So I stamped on the matte side. So I think that that came out. So okay, there's that. Then I'm gonna put these down like so. I need something. I need a a third item here. What can we do? We can add in a butterfly. Except I don't like that butterfly. I think I got one. Oh, we could do a mushroom. Let's see here. No. I'm thinking the butterfly. Let's see. So these are kind of all the little fussy cuts. Oh, we could do the bottle. And here we go. Here's a butterfly. Yeah. I think that'll be pretty. Let me ink her up. Okay, so we want her on top. I think I want it like that. And then I want this. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think I like. I think I like that. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. Okay. So we're going to do the butterfly first. And then the flowers. Whoops. And then 
And this. Oh, I was gonna do the flowers on. No, no, wait, I was. This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. Let me get under there. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Very, very interesting. Okay. And on the back, I want to put um, just a lighter piece of something that's kind of dark to write on. So let me find like a scrap coffee dyed piece of paper. Ah, here we go. And let's see, we'll cut it. Actually, let's do this. I'm going to tear it. we're going against the grain here so this tearing paper this way is always a little bit more difficult always looks like a rat chewed it <laughs> there we go I like that so but I am going to ink the edges just a little Then I'm going to use glue stick to glue this down. So if I use the other, it will show the lines. Okay, and then for the topper, um, oh, there's my kitty. <laughs> she wants my attention. She always wants my attention when I'm doing something. Um, yeah, I know. Let's do another um, eyelet. I have such a hard time. There we go. Getting that open. closes on me there we go and then we'll do like a cream colored um, seam binding for this one let me find it sorry guys here. here we go That's a little too short. That's okay. Alright, so there we go. 
our two tags. All right, so I've cleaned up a little bit, <laughs> got some stuff out of the way, and the next thing I'm going to make is a pocket, which is another one of the items to make on the list. Um, so I'm going to use this. It is very pretty, very florally, and has the cream colored background. So first of all, let me get this straightened up here. I hope that side is straight. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this um, about five and a quarter wide. Well, that side's not straight, so let's cut this side. Let's see. Five and a quarter. There we go. I don't think either one of these sides is straight. <laughs> ah. Alright, five and a quarter. We're going to go with this. Okay. I think this side just needs to be straightened up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So it's a little less than five it's like five and between the five and a quarter does that make any sense at all Can you see where it is on the <laughs> on the mat it's five inches and almost a quarter the only reason I'm concerned about the size on this because you can make these any size you want is because I'm gonna glue this down onto a journal page and normally my pages are you know they eight and a half by eleven folded so I just don't want it to be longer than five and a half. So I know it will fit on my page. And the height, again, you just want it to fit on your page. So, But you can make these as big or as small as you want. Um, so that's the size I have. So with this side facing up, this is a single-sided paper. With it facing in the right direction, I'm going to fold this up. Well, that is still not straight over there, is it? And you can do this. You can go up as high as you want. The higher you go, the bigger your little pockets are going to be. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to go up to about a half inch from the top. And we're going to fold it over. And I'm going to cut that straight, hopefully. I don't know if it's me or the... The cutter but my goodness okay I don't think that is straight up there it's not okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna straighten that first and that okay good enough all right so then I'm going to fold this back down and I'm going to cut this flap about in the center up to my fold line. Okay. So and then when these are folded up, I'm going to take this side and I'm going to fold it all the way down to the bottom. So you, you're not going to see the white. If you do happen to see some of that white, you can ink it or just do a better job <laughs> okay so you will have some that hangs over and that's that's fine that's what we want okay so then this one we're gonna go this way okay so we have it like that and then we're gonna flip this over and these we're just gonna fold over and we're going to glue those down. Now I am going to miter these corners down here because as you can see it barely sticks out but just enough that I don't want it. So we're just going to miter these corners just a little bit. 
and then we will glue them down. So, so then you have a pocket here with two tuck spots or one large, you know, you could put a larger piece in here and it can go in, in both. But these, because we folded this over, it gives us more, you know, room because if this were glued here, you lose some of that. Some of that pocket so um, I am going to ink right here and I should have done this before I glued it but it just kind of helps this stand out a little more that there is a pocket there okay we'll go ahead and do the rest while we're at it And you could even have secret little pockets down here that just tuck tuck up in there if you want or you can glue that down or you can just leave it so I usually just leave it and then um, also what I'm going to do because when I glue this down on a page I'm gonna glue these three sides so that I have a tuck back here but I don't want my stuff to stick on this, so I'm just going to put some tape. And you probably could just do that, not even have to glue it. But I went ahead and glued it anyway. And then I don't know that the glue will adhere on that so I'm probably going to use double-sided tape to stick this down but there we go and you can punch a little you know half circle right there if you want which I think I will just go ahead and do I'm just using my one and a half inch punch so the user will know that is a pocket. So let's get this this journal I'm working on, and let's say you have it down. Oh, I wouldn't put it on that blue. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, we'll just go here. This would be a good page. So I would just glue here, here, and here, and then I would have tuck spot back there and a tuck spot here and a tuck spot there and I'm I'm not even going to decorate that up I think I might add I might add a little label or something so let's just do that <laughs> I used to kind of chuckle at uh have people who would say I don't even need to decorate it and then they're like oh but let's just add a little a little something I don't really want to cover up the flower right there now this side I could totally put something let's see we could do that or that might be a little too big yeah yeah, let's see. All right, yell at me when you see something. <laughs> I wish I could hear you. I wish we could all be in a room together, like one great big craft retreat. I know there's people that have had retreats. I bet it was lots of fun. You could get all kinds of ideas from each other. 
sounds like good times. All right, how about just a little, little thing right there. Cut this white off. Let me ink it up. just go ahead and put this in this journal I think it goes really well the whole theme is just kind of flowery whatever it's not really any particular theme how about a little one over there two and three done and done down. I'm going to wait to do that though because as I was thinking about it um, I do have a couple of those types of pockets in here already so might save this for another journal but there it is. So again we can put our tags in here. These can both go in here or this one could go in the back and you can put something else right there. So cute. All right, guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention again, we're having, um, well, I am hosting a uh, collaboration along with Karen at Creative Paper Artisan. So, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe so you can follow along with that. That's going to be happening in October, which isn't too far. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so yeah, you don't want to miss out on that. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. And until the next one, bye-bye.